Watch this before getting Poyo AI. Today, I want to give my honest review on Poyo AI. I want to talk about some of the pros that I like about the tool and some of the cons that I don't like about the tool. By the way, my name's Chris. I'm a real person. This isn't some AI avatar video like you see a lot of. I'm a normal person. What I'm going to do is just jump right into the tool and show you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. All right, so here is what the dashboard looks like in Poyo AI. And at the top here, you can see the different features that we can use. And these are the main things that we're going to be utilizing. I'm going to try to move really fast even though there's like a gazillion different features in this tool um, there's so many fun things but I think I'm gonna more or less just try to showcase the seriousness of it like if you're trying to like do certain things you know what I mean because chances are that's what it is and but if, if at any point in this video you want to check out Poyo AI I'll throw my affiliate link in the description these are the most popular features the AI video features are probably the most popular and I think the AI image features in this tool are probably its strongest selling point because I've been creating a ton of different stuff so they have the text to image feature where you can essentially take uh, text and it'll create an image for you, right? And then we also have an image to image feature, which is pretty crazy. And again, I'll show you some results. You know, all you do is kind of upload your image and then tell it, hey, do this differently. Like a little bit ago, what I did was I, I uploaded this image and what I did was I told it a prompt to turn my sweatshirt the color red. And that's exactly what I did. It looks perfect and it does that. It'll change the color of your glasses as well. Um, I did a test on Facebook the other day show, showcasing this exact tool in itself. And what I was trying to do was change my clothing. And it works pretty good. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. This is, the, this is the post right here. And I said, every single day, AI is blowing my mind. And it can just change what you're wearing. <clears throat> so here's the before picture, which feels kind of lame. I was just wearing a bland gray sweatshirt uh, with my normal glasses. And I it turned my glasses into a cooler looking pair that are blue and my sweatshirt blue. So like that's really cool. Um, but yeah, it does all kinds of crazy features like that. And I found the, the coolest things actually came from the AI image tools. Uh, we had a client that needed some cosmetic uh, photos to use in a like in a social media post and these worked out great. And what I like about the tool is that you can actually tell it to output four different images instead of just one. So you can just save a ton of time. Also, um, the AI to video features work really well. And all you do is kind of click right here where it says image to video, which is essentially what you can do is just prompt it to create a video. Or actually, no, this is where you, <clears throat> you take an image of yourself and then you can tell it a prompt to change the video of. And what I did was I made an AI video, like a really crazy one with a bird sitting on a monkey's shoulder. I should just show you guys. And again, I just, I made this video to kind of like stir up some chaos on socials to kind of like get people talking about AI videos and how they're kind of, I, I, I think people hate them in general. And that's exactly what I did. So where's that gross video? Here it is right here. So I made this in this tool, Poyo AI, and it created this, this video with the image to video feature. What I what I did was I told it to make me an image of a bird sitting on a monkey's shoulder with a growth on it. And then I slowly just told it with prompts to kind of have the bird pick it apart. It, it, it got a lot of traction, but yeah, that's one feature that's really kind of, it works extremely well. And we did, we had another client where we did a reaction video and I used this video as part of the footage as part of the reaction. It's kind of just like really kind of gross footage of a person like watching a video. It got 30,000 views last night. So like, um, and again, this, I'm just kind of showcasing some of the cool things that we've been doing here. This was a, an, an image enhancement. Like I think this was the before image right here. So maybe you can see that here it is right here. This is the before, which is a, a photograph somebody took. And then what I did, was I just, I had it enhance the photo. Like, look at that. It just enhanced it. Everything looks the same. It just enhanced it. Like, that's a feature. Um, and again, guys, like I said, the my affiliate link will be in the description if you want to check out Poyo AI. This, I didn't expect this tool to kind of like thoroughly blow me away, but it's extremely easy to use. It's not that expensive. And I really thoroughly enjoy it. And I review AI tools. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a nerd like that, you know, especially when it comes to video tools. Um, here's, here's some funny photos I took of, um, my dog and told it to put him, put him in like a party, a party scene, which is pretty cool. Check this one out. 
This is my boy Tank. I love you, buddy. Um, but yeah, also it made uh, it, what it what I I messed around with it in adding action. Like here's Tank having some like. Had the dog came up to the camera and lick it. Had the dog. Came... See, like that's him moving. It's a little sketchy, but it it looks pretty realistic, and it's really kind of you know if you're having issues with the videos not looking realistic or the photos. A lot of times it's not the tool's fault, it's your prompts. And what I advise people to do is actually go on over to like ChatGPT or Perplexity or Grok, whatever, and then have it, talk to it and say, hey, can you write me a prompt for a video I'm trying to create in an AI video generator? And then it'll 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 help dis explain it way better. It's a bit ironic that we're using AI to write the prompts to feed into AI, but that's how the world works. Like that's what smart people are doing. And again, I'm just trying to look at some of these. This is my boy. I sent this to my girlfriend and my daughter. This is uh, my boy's royalty. Here's some more uh, of the same photo that I changed the color of. Remember the sweatshirt before was gray and my glasses were the red. Uh, again, I'm just using these for like YouTube thumbnails and marketing and such. Some of these though, like the AI, you know, doesn't do very well. Like this doesn't even look like me and it did like a compilation. I didn't ask for that. I would, I always tell people, uh, expect about a uh, maybe a 40% success rate with like trying to work with AI to create all this stuff. Here we go. My neck looks way too long here. Um, but yeah, some of this stuff looks better than others and you kind of just have to pick through it and remember to use the words like ultra realistic and so forth. You know, here's a video. Um, I can't remember if this worked for us. Uh, no, I don't think it worked for us because you can just tell right away that it's AI. I think I told it a content creator setting up their phone to record a video. This is what it gave me. So you you know, you can't be super vague with telling it the prompts in these tools because they're just not going to work that well. Um, here's a basketball player, a young basketball player jumping up and dunking the ball. This is kind of embarrassing actually. Yeah, like you're going to get these videos like this. Again, you're going to have to like get really good at prompting or the videos just aren't going to turn out that well. And here's that AI video I made. And what I did was I had it make me an image. Like this was first the image. Or wait, this is a video. What I did was I, I, I had it make me an image and then I took the image to video generator. A lot of times if you're looking for consistent characters uh, in your for your videos, if you wanna make them like longer, you'll have to take still shots at the end of your video and then put that into the image to video generate, and then it will generate a whole new video based upon that last still shot of your video. Hopefully that makes sense. Some of this might be like super ultra dorky, uh, like past your levels. But again, guys, um, this uh, watch this before getting Poyo AI. This is my honest review on Poyo AI. I would say the pros are that the image generator works extremely well. The video works too. Um, uh, the AI avatar is probably its biggest weakness. So, and, and again, I just, maybe this is just my situation, but what I did was I had it make a video of me talking as an avatar, and here, here's the kissing cam video. This is kind of funny. Watch this. It did that from an image. I sent this to my girlfriend. She thought it was hilarious. <laughs> um, but that, that, I, a lot of the video effects work quite well, but the avatar one, my name. like this is me, and this does not look that well. It added 60 years to my age, and it just doesn't work that well. So it does need some work, but if you're looking for an AI avatar creator, I feel like HeyGen is the best hands down. And again, I'll throw a link to that as well down in the description. Uh, if you're looking to clone yourself as an avatar, HeyGen wins the, the cake with that easily. But again, um, this, this tool, Poyo AI, has different features. You know what I mean? So that is the pros, and I would say the cons are the avatars. Um, also, what I didn't talk about is like how many effects, video effects and stuff like this tool has. Like um, if you're looking to just have fun and make like viral videos, this tool is a gold mine. So I'm just going to say that because like you can put your face on different like on different people. You can do like funny pet stuff. There's so many effects. I showed you the kissing cam thing. Um, there's just so much cool things you can do with that as well. So guys. My honest review on Poyo AI, it's a great tool. I'll put the affiliate links down down below. Again, I also have a community called Video Society where I'm looking to kind of just meet friends. Um, also Facebook groups. I own YouTube Beginners. I own some of the largest photography groups, um, podcasting. So like I live and breathe video. 
and all this stuff. I'm just a video nerd. So hit me up in the comments down below if you guys have any questions regarding this tool. It's really, it, it's a great tool, honestly, and I think you should check it out. You get a free trial as well using my link in the description. And consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.